Today, we're going to be working on the bar and kitchen side of the yacht's interior. Let's get started. So let's go downstairs real quick, and I'm going to show you guys what I mean. So this hallway, like, right here, I think we're going to start with this. I don't know about these bedrooms today. We might do those, but this is the bar right here. I kind of want to have a kitchen in it with, like, some stoves and maybe a refrigerator. We'd have a whole bunch of seating out here, a whole bunch of, like, LEDs, make it look cool like a vacation yacht. So let's go turn this to the workbench and get started on this. All right, so here we are. So I'm kind of thinking we're going to do plain fill, and we're going to color the floor this entire, like, peach color. I don't know if that looks good. Should we do that? Honestly, that doesn't look bad at all okay that would work and then i also think we're going to go ahead and grab plain fill and put this entire wall as that light gray color that we were doing and um probably some other walls here and for this wall right here we're going to fill it with the dark gray same with this this and then over here maybe we could do like that and then this entire wall right here could be like this wooden color maybe would that look good um i don't know but i do feel like this would be a great spot for a washing machine so we'll um reserve this spot right here for that and since it's for the washing machine we're going to make it all this like kind of custom brown color that we made over here so i think that will look good all right there we go we got that done i don't think we're actually gonna be painting the ceiling um maybe not okay so what should we do with this staircase here we could maybe use like this gold color would that be cool for this staircase we could just paint it all gold maybe okay we're gonna do this and see how it looks so although that doesn't really look like gold it still looks really good okay and let's just see how it looks with lights on all right here we go we're gonna turn on the lights in here all right i don't think that looks bad actually like with that gold color it doesn't look like gold but we need to paint like the side of the staircase here maybe add some leds i feel like we could do that today but yeah i think it looks nice um, i'm not really digging this brown color over here so so we'll probably swap that out maybe for like a dark gray um yeah that'll work so we're gonna be painting the stairs i already did the side right here but i think we're gonna actually keep the main stairs white just so we can like visually see them so we're gonna paint under here oh we don't want to paint that and then you guys see these blocks right here that kind of go up so behind them is a whole bunch of room for some led lights so we're gonna get rid of those rows right there and do the thing we did yesterday with those paintable indicators and make it look nice but all right let's start on these stairs indicator and we're just gonna do this on one of them and then we'll just copy it all the way down for the all of the same thing so we're just gonna put that on so we can actually see rotate it just like like this and there we go all right and to add a cool like tint to it we're gonna make all of them pitch black so like it you know the glow stands out a little more and we're gonna do the glow as probably white and we're gonna do two strips of this so we're just gonna do something like that so two up and there we go now that that's done that might be a little bit too much but of course we'll just change it if it is so we're just gonna copy it and then click copy and then put it down one block rotate one block rotate just over and over there we go we got all of them set up let's go ahead and start painting the sides here because we don't want it to be pure white just like that amazing there we go staircase is looking good so let's make sure we got everything the right color so we missed one block on that one and then we're gonna do black under here also just to make it you know kind of look cool but yeah i think we got everything for these stairs here we're gonna just connect them all actually to this light here that is a lot of stuff we gotta connect all right we're gonna spawn this in and test it out it's gonna be a really good touch up to our staircase but here it is it is on and it is not working i don't know why oh we forgot to connect the bottom ones but the top ones do work they look really nice okay i am liking that but yeah it's looking really nice i think we're gonna definitely stick with this um black also looks pretty good here great but also for this hallway here we're gonna do this dark gray color or the light gray color actually to be exact i think that'll look good but yeah here we go this would be the entrance to the bar right here we're gonna do the same thing on the floor we actually did for our bed here so it's gonna be led strips i'm kind of wrapped all around here this part's gonna be interesting because it's kind of like a little too curved um all right that'll work all right we're just gonna line that and perfect all right let's start on this so we're going to do replace color here and we're gonna make it all this gray or the peach color that we've been talking about so we're gonna do that and now we're gonna start with the glow so i don't know i feel like we're gonna do just white for now once again um of course we're gonna probably change it and do something pretty cool with them like maybe do like red or something once we actually start this yacht up but i don't know right now we'll just do that we're gonna turn off this grid so we can actually see it better there we go there we go and we got it turning there very nice all right i think it's looking good it's definitely coming together in here and i think to actually make it a little bit more cooler for like the bartender here we're actually gonna wrap it all the way in here so we're gonna have it actually go inside of here so you know the bartender can have some fun with it and there we go i'd say that's looking very nice now we need an actual button to turn this on so we're going to probably just put it straight right here on the counter just for now of course so oh that's a whole lot of stuff but all right let's see how this looks we turn that on oh that looks so nice all right looks very luxury okay so this is where we'd be we got the cool lights great most actual bars kind of have like these support beams on them so we're just going to use rocket boosters for this just because like it has a circular shape and we can't really do that with normal block we'll just line this straight to the ceiling it'll also be a thing over here we'll just do it like right there perfect all right i think this would look good when we're done with it all right and then back here we're probably going to have like a storage area that we can actually put some bottles on so we'll do some like up there and then maybe some right here i don't know what we're going to do with like the oven and stuff so we'll probably just put them over here but let's grab some exhaust pipes here and these exhaust things um are actually really like they kind of look like bar stuff you know so we'll just put some of those up here grab some blue ones we got some cool colors going on here let's grab like a better blue one to make it look even nicer what we're gonna do is also add a back underglow basically behind all the drinks right there i feel like this is gonna look amazing so maybe we could have it be like a gold color but we're not gonna actually put it back there first we're gonna build it right here and then we'll just copy it back there because there's not really a whole lot of painting room there so we'll just put it all right here and then the back color oh i forgot we need to paint these 
walls. Okay, um, we need to do that. So um, we're going to do plain fill here. And what color should the bar walls be? This is important. So I'm thinking the actual bar like right here could be like this gold color we've been using. I feel like that would look really cool. So we'll do like a golden bar look. Great. So we have most of the bar gold, but back here, we're going to do like a dark gray color. So the light will actually make it stand out more. So we're going to make all these gray since that's the um, kind of color we're going to do there. But all right, we want the underglow to be on the bottom. So we're going to do maybe two layers of this. Oh, that looks really good. Okay, that'll definitely make it stand out really nicely. And then we're just going to copy this, put it on this top one right here. So it glow right behind it. Perfect. And then the same with this one. Um, We're still actually going to be able to see that since we did two rows. So great. We're going to merge that in. And then I think we need to kind of change the color on this countertop here. We can maybe make it like just pitch black. I feel like that would look cool. All right. Yeah, we'll do that. All right. So this is what it would look like when we enter the bar here. Looking super nice. Um, What should our countertop color be? That's like the same as that post right there. Uh, maybe a little bit darker. Okay. I mean, I think that would work. Yeah, that looks great. Then to add some more design to this area right here, I don't want it to like, you guys see how it ends right there? I don't like that. Add some design to it. So we're going to go grab some like blocks here. What color should these be? I have no idea. We'll figure this out here. So I maybe think this like brown color. Um, so we'll like have it go line down just like that. And then we'll maybe do like two blocks down like that. You know, we'll just do one. And then we're going to have it curved down again. This is going to be really good for like the design here. So we'll do that. And it's going to be like kind of like a little bit of a wavy thing, but then it'll be straight on the bottom there. All right. That does add some design. We're probably going to have to get rid of that paintable thing behind it. And I think that does look good though. And of course we can't forget to paint these walls right here. So I think we're just going to do kind of like that gray color. I don't know. I feel like we're kind of doing like too much with that, but we'll add like some design to it, of course. But all right, for design here, we can put like maybe like a little sand right here and just fill it up with this wood. Um, We'll make it a little bit smaller. Oh no, symmetry's on. Don't do that. And then right here, I'm kind of thinking we can make like a massive stand. And this is where we would put a lot of our bottles at like the really expensive high end ones. So right here, you can make like a couple rows. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll do a row right here and then we could have one probably right there. All right. And then we're going to make glass on it. So we're going to grab ourselves some windows here. Actually, we should probably put the bottles in it first. All right. So I think an expensive color would be like this hot pink right here. We'll do like a couple of those. So we'll do some hot pink. And then what other colors can we make on here? Um, We can do white bottles. I feel like white doesn't look as cool though. Super bright yellow. It's even brighter than the yellow over here. So this will look pretty cool. Then we're also going to do the brightest green um, actually possible here. So brightest green right there. And we'll grab some like neotastic blues right there. And then we're going to also put one of them over here. Actually, we already do have some neotastic blue. All right, there we go. We have our little fine stand thing. Should we fill up the bottom right there? All right, yeah, I think that would look um, better. I don't know. Should we do that? Or what we could do is have this actually be a one by two wedge. So something like this would be curved down too. Okay, that would work. All right, so let's actually start on the windows here. So let's grab a window and then we can do like a couple sets of these. We're gonna have to make like an actual line on the side here. We'll delete this when we're done with the windows. So just so we can place them. So we'll do something like this. We'll place the windows right here. It'll be facing outside and something like this. All right, two by three window for the bottom ones. That's completely fine with me. You know, we can afford it. We got a super yacht here. Actually, this isn't a super yacht. But anyways, um, should we do windows on this bottom part here? I don't think it's really necessary. But all right, that does look good. So we're going to delete these little support beams here. We should make it glow kind of probably inside of there and around it too. So why not? We're just going to delete both of those right there and this and we're just going to probably copy these up there. There we go. We got it glowing on the sides. Now we need to have it glow on the ceiling. And I think, yeah, just the ceiling. I was thinking kind of down there. Maybe. Wait, should we have it glow on the bottom? Uh, definitely. And three, two, one. We're going to place the bottom part right here. And I think this part right here is done. Oh, that looks so nice. I don't really want it to be like all white though, but I don't know what would match with this theme really. Um, We'll figure that out, but I, we're just going to do white for now. Now we need to actually probably start on the seating and stuff. So for the seating, we're going to go to the uh, props for home thing here. And these have some pretty good seating over here. So we can either do gray or gold seats. Okay. So we're just going to copy both of them, see which one actually ends up working here. So we're just going to copy both of them just like this with our selection tool. Great. And then we're just going to put the chairs out here probably for now and then where should we put these chairs at in here so probably somewhere over here i kind of want to have like a couch area so we're gonna grab this big like golden chair i think all right so we'll put this right here and i'm kind of thinking of a blackjack table like somewhere right over here of course we need to do some like type of casino stuff in this thing so we're gonna do that probably we're gonna get this last chair in that um free area i'll show you in a second so we have a free area right over here we could probably put this chair at actually we could probably put another one of these big chairs um should we do that here we're just going to probably put this over there for now and then we're gonna copy this and see if it'll actually fit. So we're going to copy it and then click K like three times or something. And then right there, um, actually, I think that would work. So we're going to put that there. Then we can actually scoot this chair in a little bit more. And then there's actually a ton of room over here, probably for a more additional seating. So why don't we do that? Um, we'll put it one block away from the door entry. So we'll go in here. There'll be chairs over there, blackjack table, maybe over here, um, a little table for these people. But yeah, we'll put this here, merge it in and probably start on the tables that we're all talking about. So tables right here. And then I need another one over here. So we're going to grab should this be like the blackjack chair? I feel like this would be 
like a cool little sand fort. So we're going to do that. And before we bring it over there, I think we're going to make this table like kind of a red color. So should we do this red right here or the really bright red? Um, Let's see. I'm kind of thinking this like violet red color. I think that's violet. I don't know. I'm kind of bad with colors, but yeah, we'll do this like red color here. I feel like that looks good for a blackjack. So we will put the table like right here. Wait, we can't have it be against the wall because of that glass thing right there. I want to keep that though. So we're going to put that there and then we're going to put that. Okay, I feel like that might be barely enough room for a table. Ooh, that's going to be really rough. I don't know how we're actually going to make that. Um, It'll be interesting. All right, so now we need a table for over here. And for this, I'm kind of thinking it'll just be like about a block off the ground. It's going to be like a cool little curved table. So we'll do something like that. And then we're going to grab ourselves some gray blocks here. So these will be the corners of the table. And we're going to grab ourselves a wedge and then drag this across. I don't know if this will actually work. Um, Nope, that won't work. So we'll have to grab something else for that. So we can have it curve up like that. And then at the end here, it'll like aggressively turn. So we'll do that. Um, I think we can actually have enough room for seating here. So we'll do some type of seating. And I think that's all we really need to do for this table here. Pretty simple little table. Has a lot of design in it though, which makes it look much better. And to add some more design to it, we're going to probably put some like windows in here. Um, maybe just one in the center. Hold on. Let's grab a window one by one. Make it um, black here. Should we just do one window or fill it completely with windows? That's just one. And then this is it completely filled with windows. I think maybe just actually that doesn't look bad. So this is how we had it, just that one window there, and then now it's completely filled with windows. Actually, I like it filled with windows. Looks way more modern like that. Okay, we're going to do that. But now we need to start on this table right here. So let's see. We're going to do probably two blocks like this, and then we could have it curve. So we're going to grab a pipe, and this will curve right here. All right, great. And then when it's curved, we're probably going to fill it up with maybe like blocks. Um, should we do blocks? Or we could do an actual wedge here to like, you know, even it out on the end. So we can do a block like that. Okay, that looks actually really good for a table. So right there, we could do like some cards or something i don't know and then right here for the base we can do red to like you know add stuff to it there we go all right so we have a table we got this thing pretty decked out here we're gonna add some more stuff on the walls um what should we add i don't even know probably paintings a window wait we can add windows on this floor i forgot but i don't really know if i want a window in the bar i kind of want to keep it like dark in here or kind of like my own lighting so you know but then to also add more design on this and we're gonna do some curvy stuff we did earlier so we'll do that that and then we'll just grab that golden color or brown something and then we cannot forget about lighting in here so we're going to put a light directly above this table and then this one over here and then probably in this main area right there great all right we got that and then we need an actual like you know the light bulbs for it so grab ourselves these normal lights here and what color should the lights be that's kind of like the question here because i don't know um bar lights maybe we'll keep like that gold color we've been using for like everything i mean it still looks good so I'll grab this like weird looking color there and make it all that and then we're going to connect our auto button to this and spawn it in and see how it looks all right, here we go. Turning that on. Oh, it looks so nice in here. Um, Definitely a window. Okay, we'll do a window on that side right there. And yeah, it looks good. We'll probably add some more other stuff on the walls. But yeah, we can sit down here. I want to make it so we can sit down on these actual um actual seats right here. That kind of makes sense. So we'll just put our seats on just like that. I kind of had to like customize that microcontroller weirdly. So we'll put our seats here. Should we have them just be like white maybe? I feel like that'd look um, all right. Wait, actually, no, I think it's made for the seats to actually um be upright. So we can put the seats directly like just on the cushions just like this. I'll show you when I actually get this. There we go. And then we'll just put the seats like that. I feel like that would look good. Yeah, we'll do that. And then we also need the window. So, yep, we can do a window there. We'll probably do it like somewhere in the center. So maybe like a window like that. I don't know. That's kind of big, though. Guys, I'm not really good with this window stuff. Okay, so we don't want it to be too low here. So this is like the lowest we can do it, which is perfect level. Great. And for the window, we can maybe do like a long window just like this. So let's grab ourselves some windows here. So how long is this? So something like that and do that. Oh, gosh, I don't know if this is going to look good. And then we'll grab the um two by two here okay we're gonna place that there okay um it looks interesting from the outside doesn't look like absolutely terrible but i mean it's a, it's a window but yeah i'd say that'd be a pretty good spot for a window same with um somewhere over here on the other side um we have to add like some design to the window of course it kind of just looks like it's there so for the design we'll do something like this so we'll delete those blocks there um maybe we could delete two on the top and we'll grab this and just do that and then the same thing just with a one by one wedge on the bottom here or something like that all right i'd say that looks good and then should we have it kind of just be like dark like that i don't know it kind of looks weird maybe we could add like kind of a frame to it um that would look good uh i don't know that kind of looks like too much at that point um it's not bad we'll keep it for now and then actually we could probably just color this top up here like that so it doesn't even there we go all right yep we'll keep it like that all right same thing for over here so we'll do like a four block long window so something like that same level i don't want it to be like in the exact same location we could probably scoot it over like right there i feel like that would work perfectly all right we'll do that so then we'll grab this one by three right here and just extend it how we 
we were. So right there. Then we're going to grab ourselves a one by two window here. Wait, is it called a window? No, they're called glass. Oh, I know they are windows. So a one by two window and we'll just place it right there. And then for the turn of the corner here in the engine room, we're going to actually have it turn with this um, gold color to it. So we're going to line it up. Then of course, we cannot forget to add like some type of disco party lights. So that's what we're going to do here. So we're going to grab ourselves a velocity pivot. Uh, the difference between a velocity and a robotic um, velocities can spin forever in a circle and robotics kind of get stuck at a certain point. So for the party lights, we're going to grab some spotlights. These are going to be pretty bright, if I'm going to be honest. But you know, that's what we want. Bright party lights. So we'll do something like this. Should we do one on every single, you know, that'll be fine. All right, we'll do that. This might be a little bit too much. I don't know. We'll have to see. And then what kind of party lights should we have? Maybe like a yellow. I feel like yellow would look cool, but it kind of looks like an emergency lights. Um, oh, yeah, we need like the pearlescent color on or additive. So there we go. We got some party lights going on on every other light. All right. So now let's have a button to turn on the party mode here. So let's have a button right here and this will be our disco ball mode. So right here. So we'll connect it to all the lights and we need a switch box to actually start um, rotating the velocity pivot, which will, of course, will be in our logic room here. So output will go to that and then to turn them on, it will go to that right there. And then when it's off, it'll be at zero. When it's on, it'll be at zero point. Well, let's just say 75. So that should um kind of like, you know, spin it a little bit. But all right, let's go ahead and test out our new party mode. So we got the lights there and now we got. Oh, my gosh, that is so bright. Um, OK, that is one heck of a party we got going on in there. Let's turn it to oh, look at that. It looks so funny in there. OK, we're going to turn it to straight nighttime here and just look at this. Oh, my gosh, dude, they are blasting in there. Let's go in here. Um, Oh, this doesn't really look safe because of how bright those are. Should we just have them be like normal lights? I don't know. Can we like kind of customize the charge on these lights? They are so bright. You know, I like spotlights, but I feel like those are just way too bright. I even tried like changing the color on them. It didn't work. So we're just going to grab some normal lights here. So we'll just grab this normal light. We'll make it completely white and we're gonna have to like do some circle stuff here with them Um, so one side will be that color and then one side will be completely yellow So we'll do yellow on that perfect and then to kind of like make the light look better We're going to even it out on the sides right here So we'll just make a circle all the way around it. All right now We're gonna test our new disco light setting. All right, so that does look good I just don't like how it's like a plain color right here. I hope they fix that in the update I really doubt it. This place actually gets pretty well lit up with those spotlights. So there we go All right, we have some lighting going on in here. It looks cool. Let's turn it to straight night time that's when most parties will be so out here you can tell oh yep they're partying in there kind of from that spotlight and then we're also going to add some like curvy stuff on the sides here i already did some over there we're just going to make it differently over here so do something like that make it really curvy all right and then we're going to even it out there and then it'll curve at the last second all right kind of like a wavy feel going on in here and we cannot forget about the actual kitchen part of this bar so we need to actually add like some stove burners right there and like you know a sink maybe all right just got back done from shopping we're going to put these over here Oh, I forgot about that chair there. You know, we'll just leave it there. So right here, we actually have our burners. So we're going to put the burners somewhere over here in our bar, of course. So um, that's the engine room um, over here. Perfect. So we'll just drag it right here and then it goes to the ceiling. Um, we'll fix that. So we could probably put it somewhere like right there, maybe. Yeah, we'll do that. So we'll do that right there. And then actually, I think we can do another row. We have enough room for that. So we'll just do another row perfectly just right there. And then we're going to merge both of them in and get rid of all this crap going on up above it. So we'll do that. Don't break the hole in the ceiling. Now we need to make room for an actual um refrigerator um yes so i don't know where this is actually even gonna fit at i really didn't think of that even at the start so let's see um oh yeah that's i don't know if that's gonna happen you know maybe we'll have like a kitchen upstairs we'll probably have like a secondary one there's just a whole lot of room upstairs so we'll do that let's grab this picture of this um like you know island or something so we're just gonna copy this it's a vacation picture so we're going to put it directly down here where should we put our new vacation picture um definitely somewhere on one of these walls so we'll do something like that for the picture and there we go all right bar is looking nice of course it's not going to be completely done right now i'll do some like more customizations off screen but that's probably going to be it for this video make sure you guys let me know what we should actually add next to our nice looking vacation yacht but make sure you guys like and subscribe hit that bell join the discord link is in the description but thanks for watching and goodbye